Hey everybody, it's Coach Wharton again, and I just finished my third ride on my brand new 2022 uh, Intense Sniper T Pro. And one of the things I want to work on uh, with you today is at the, the video that I did before this, I was uh, showing you that I was going to be changing the uh, rotor chain ring uh, Q ring position based on some information that I saw when I was riding yesterday. The position was set originally at OCP number three, and based on what I was seeing on some of those steeper climbs with some hairpin turns, hairpin climbs, um, it was recommending like a one or a two. So I'm gonna show you a recorded history, and then I'm gonna show you multiple screens, uh, screenshots that I took, and I'm gonna explain what I did uh, and why I did it. So let's get started. We're going to begin by going with an 11 minute climb and the climb uh, it remember this is a one-legged uh, power meter but you're it's on the drivetrain side and you're, you're getting the idea but the most important two items to look at are right here the optimum uh, chain uh, I'm sorry the optimum um, crank angle average was 89 degrees so if you think about moment moment looks like this right now the moment for this pin is zero right now the moment for this pin is zero but when the pin is right at 90 degrees that is the longest moment you can get because if this were a crank arm you would have 165 or 170 or 175 millimeters of crowbar quite literally and so for this 10 minute uh, 11 minute climb with all the climbing and some of the descending and some of the flats and all you know climbs it went i was watching it in real time and it was going between one and four and two and three and 1.5 and 2.5 but for the whole average it ended up being a three okay maybe i need to make a change but wait let's go back and let's look at another two minute climb. This one is arguably the toughest part of the climb for this, uh, this loop. And the optimum chain ring position is 2.5 with an angle of 87. Now remember, if we look at the 11 minute one, it was at 89. And if we look at the two and a half minute one that's very steep, it's at 87. They're both higher than 90 degrees. Why is that? Well, if you think about it, a bicycle that's flat tends to have an optimal chain ring position of about uh, 95 to 105 degrees. And that's because you're dealing with inertia, which I did not describe. However, when you climb, you can see where that chain and that crank go. Now you're climbing at eight or 10% and you're back at roughly 90 degrees. Got it? Now, let's take a look at some of the pictures that I took. And we'll see what they look like. So here we are, we're at 393 watts, cadence of 91, OCA angle, that's the little green line right here is 84 degrees and the uh, chain ring position they're recommending is two. So two seconds later, look at that. I'm at 90 degrees and I'm at three. Now I don't have angle on here. Here's 86 degrees and 2.5. Here's 81 and a 1.5. Here's 86 and a two. 85 and a two. 79 and a 1, 88 and a 3, 85 and a 2, 84 and a 2. Here's a 99 and a 4.5. I think that was actually just descending. 2.5 and 86, 89 and a 3. There's a 93. Here's an 85 and a 2, 88 and a 3. 88 and a three, and we'll go from there. Now, why is this important? 
I think I'm getting power on the steep stuff where I think I make most of my meter gains um, at a position one or a position two. I placed it at a position 1.5 and I'm going to keep it there. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I think this is an expensive but valuable tool and uh, I'm going to keep experimenting with it. Uh, so that's kind of where we stand. The I'll, send some, I'll include some pictures of it, but um, remember the idea. I wrote, a, I wrote this in my, in my book. This is a chapter in my book. But when you get a propeller blade at 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock, it is at its most efficient. However, you've got to deal with inertia. Well, if you're climbing a bicycle and it's flat, your inertia is going to be like this. But when you, um, I'm sorry, when you ride a bicycle and it's flat, it's like this. But when you climb, bingo. The steeper it is, the more you are using that crowbar at close to 90 degrees. So I'm going to keep it between one and two for a couple of weeks. Uh, and the next video I make is going to be uh, showing off some of the latest in regards to the uh, suspension. Thanks for watching and enjoy the ride.